Peach Llama. It'll, it'll make you happy. That Eliza brought. His name's Henry. Henry. He's adorable and he's really <laughs> soft. Bet and Boo is this kind of absurdist take on uh, life in kind of the American family, but but more specifically uh, an alcoholic dysfunctional family. It's a dark comedy, and so it's just a very funny like everyone can relate to it because the family is just ridiculous, and it kind of makes you feel better about your own family. You really find things in the scripts that you can relate to your own life, the, the darkness that's in the family, and then the light. It's eerie sometimes what happens in the dinner scenes, and you're like, oh, okay. But um, it's also very fun because it, it brings the cast very close together. I mean, it's been, it's been a, an interesting experience. There's so many elements to it in which uh, it kind of hits on everybody's dysfunction and, and every family. And that's one of the things that is most surprising about all of us in the cast and, and what it's like to put on the show. Since it's set um, in the Spiegel Theater, and we haven't used the theater for a department show in a while, it's a little bit run down and so we had to like spiffy it up and make it nicer so that it's department level and worthy. We didn't have a lot of time to do it. We started uh, September I think 9th but uh, it's come together really well and I think the cast has grown and we just get better every night. It's been great. I love it. We have a perfect cast and it's hilarious. I think the biggest problem is uh, getting people to stop laughing <laughs> during rehearsals. This is my third time working with Royston. He's just amazing. I mean, he knows what he wants. He, he gets it. Royston's amazing. I want to be him when I grow up, actually. Uh, no, he's, he's been really great. He's, he's let me make a lot of decisions creatively, and which I wasn't really expecting. It's fun because Royston does a lot of crazy stuff with the shows he does. This show is already so crazy that he was very careful not to rob from that insanity, but also include his Royston style of directing. If you, if you gather it up, <laughs> like, like here, okay, you don't have to hold it closed necessarily, right? Just, if you just run out like this, right, then it's a little easier to, you know, get him into the, into the position, if you, if you know what I mean, right? So, and then we can, yeah. I, it's okay, I got to <laughs> we all have something to relate to, and we all have that thing that we understand about this crazy piece where there's gravy being thrown around, and there's you know, wild props that are, are, are thrown on and off the stage, and they're just a mess. But there's a real emotional honesty to it that we all click to, and it's kind of a, a wild, retrospective, personal experience. It, it is the ups and downs of the family, the light and dark. Um, and it, it doesn't necessarily end happy or sad, but I think that everyone can come sit in the audience and, and find something in it that they will either be able to relate and it makes them happy or sad, but I mean, that's kind of what theater is. I think that the show will help them find something that they're looking for. <laughs>